Well, hi there. This 4th of July weekend, we are in Rudersheim, just down the road from Frankfurt on the Rhine River. We're going to spend the whole weekend here going around the city. But first, we're going to go check into our hotel. But before we do that, I need you to do me a huge favor. I need you to hit that subscribe button and give me a big, big like, okay? All right, we're going to go upstairs, and then we're going to walk around the city and give you a tour, okay? Behind me is Adlerter, or Eagle Tower which stands at the edge of the town. This late Gothic corner tower once was part of the city's fortifications, built around the 15th century. Here on the main strip, you can find out about the Tourist Information Center. Most of what you need to find out is online, but this place has some really good information. In particular, boat cruises. Boat cruises that go up the Rhine River. There's about three or four different tours, but unfortunately they don't start till Monday, 6th July. So we're gonna miss out on those this time. This area was first settled by the Celts, but as the Romans were heading north toward the Taunus Mountains, they built a castle behind me across the river in a town called Bingen. And it's here in Rudersheim where the Romans built the bridgehead on their way to the Limes. The Romans were followed by the Alemanni and the Franks. Archaeological findings of glass suggest that winemaking was already occurring in Rudersheim at that time. The town's origin as a Hofendorf or Klump village can still be seen in today's map. Behind me is Busenberg Castle, whose architecture suggests that it's from the 9th century. At 38 meters high, the tower is the town's tallest structure, but this castle unfortunately is privately owned, so we can only look from the street. First mentioned in 1074, Rudersheim's livelihood has come from wine growing, shipping, and timber rafting. Hey Everett, do you know what time it is? What? Huh? I don't know. It's time to be hungry. Let's go get some lunch. Yeah. So many places to eat, so many choices, what will we do? Hey mommy, you're picking where we eat. Is this where we're eating? Okay. Yep, that just happened. We had a bottle of wine for lunch. I have freedom too. Chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Make sure I have the subscribe button. And make sure to do two for all of our videos. We found the entrance to the sky ride, so we're gonna go jump on and go up to the top of the mountain. All right, we're gonna get the scenic tour. the hill is the Germania Monument, which is behind me, erected between 1877 and 1883 to symbolize the re-establishment of the German Empire in 1870. We're going to go take a closer look. There's the cable cars we brought up, and there's our ride home. It's really hard to describe how large the statue is, but you can see why it took six years to build. Okay, we're getting ready to get on our home trip. You ready? Alright, get ready to go down. Ready to go down? We're gonna be down backwards. Whoa! Okay, we're gonna make a penny. Is that the one you want? Yeah. Okay, hold it right there. Put our money in. Hold on, hold it. I want to spin it. Hold it, hold it. Don't spin it. Go ahead. 
Show him to me, show him to me. Let me see him. Hold him out. Flip him over so I can see. Oh, those came out good, huh? Just at the top of the market plots is the medieval torture museum. But ironically, it seems to be locked up tight. Good morning. We're still in Rudersheim. It's 4th of July. And we are going to go to eat lunch today in a castle. And in order to get to that castle, we have to get across the river. So we're going to do something really spectacular. We're going to drive across the river. All right? Wait till you see how we do that. I've gotten up early in the morning to try and beat some of the hustle and bustle of the town to get better pictures and to show you guys sort of a better video without being interrupted with all the noises. So you'll have to pardon my hair. I'm standing on the Drosselgasse, which is the main street that used to take goods from the top of the town to the river. Now it's lined with restaurants, live music, beer gardens, hotels, and wine taverns. It is the hub of the city of Rudersheim. Here comes our ride to get across the river. Here we go, guys. Getting ready to dock. Berg Ehrenfels. Around the year 1220, the Archbishop of Mainz ordered the construction of this castle on the site of an earlier fortress. Normally we would go up to see if we could visit the castle, but seeing how it's nestled inside the vineyards, we're going to go ahead and skip it, and because we're having lunch in a castle today. So we've just finished our lunch here at Reichenstein Castle, and now we've gone through the museum and we've gotten our headsets and we're going to take a tour inside the castle. The first mention of this castle is in 1213. Reportedly, it was captured in 1253, and, but that remains a subject of debate. But there is no doubt that King Rudolf Habsburg ordered the besiege, capture, and destruction of this castle in 1282. At that time, Reichenstein Castle was home to the robber baron Dietrich Hohenfels. And after it was besieged and captured, Dietrich and his men are reported to have been hung outside the castle gates. Something pretty weird we notice in all these paintings, it looks like they've cut out the clock of the painting and put an actual clock in there. Lunch is all done. We're gonna head back into Rudersheim, take the scenic tour, maybe check out some more castles along the road. <laughs> well, friends, that's all. We had a blast, and we hope you did too. Hopefully you get a chance to visit Rudersheim soon. Be sure to let us know your favorite part and hit that like button too. You can follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook to see more videos and pictures from all of our adventures. We'd appreciate it if you could subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you can keep coming along. Until next time, 